These guys are wimps. That's your best? to see you back. Here are the measurements. We're currently modifying the Tartarus. The Tartarus? Even the fall into the Cliffoth couldn't break it. It's perfect for a trip to the core. The Tartarus is certainly proving itself useful. It will still take some time, though. You should go relax in town.
Could I talk to you all for a minute? What is it? Is it really okay for us to just lower all the land on our own? What do you mean? It's a really big deal. It'll change the way the whole world works. I was thinking we should explain things to Uncle and Emperor Peony and work together. But we'd have to go to Batacle to do that. I think we should. Lou. They risked their lives for us. For you, Natalia. Now it's our turn to protect them. Let's persuade Uncle to salvage the peace treaty that fell apart. Shouldn't Kim Laska, Malkuth, and Doth work together to lower the Outer Lands? Luke, you're absolutely right. Please let me think for a bit. I know that's best. But the fact remains that Father rejected me. I'm scared. I'm sorry. We'll just have to wait until Natalia is ready. there. Ash, what are you doing here? I'm looking for Spinoza. What are you doing here? I'm... Aren't you going to Batacle? You knew? It's not like you to be scared. Well, there are some things that frighten even me. Really? Even though you have tens of thousands of Batacle citizens as your allies? I know that. Someday. When we're grown up, let's change this country. Change it so that no one has to be poor. Change it so that war never happens. Let's work to change our country. For the rest of our lives. Together. I didn't say that because you were a princess. Your birth doesn't matter. Just do what you can. I guess I'll go back too. Uh... It's not nice to eavesdrop. I didn't do it on purpose, and it didn't seem like the best time to interrupt them. I see. If I hadn't been born, Natalia and Ash would have. If you hadn't been born, Ash would have died at Exeriuth as Luke. Tear. Hypothesizing about not having been born is meaningless. You're living your own life. Experiences that only you know. Feelings that only you feel. Don't deny them. You're here. Yeah. Thanks. I'm sorry. It's not like me to act scared like that, is it? Then we're going to medical now, are we? Yes. I will do what I can as princess of... No. As a citizen of Kamlaska. There you go. I hoped you'd say that. I wrote a letter to King Ingobert describing everything that's happened. As well as the problems with lowering the Outer Lands. Problem? Was there a problem? The miasma. Oh yeah. The whole reason the Outer Lands were made was to get away from that. We'll need more than the cooperation of Sheridan to solve this problem. We'll need Grand Kokma's phonic researchers and Yulia City. But in order to get them... We have to get Kim Laska and Malkuth to agree to peace. Let's go to Batacle. I'll convince Father, no matter what.
Looks like fun. I want to Princess Natalia, you've returned! You realize what this will mean? Stop! I am Ion, Phone Master of the Order of Lorelei. I seek an audience with His Majesty. <gasps> yes, sir! Those who accompany me come under the protection of Doth. If they are treated with any disrespect, Doth will no longer read the score for Kim Laska. Open the way! That's an order from Phone Master Ion! Let's go! First, we must deal with those who are inciting the king to war. Let's go, Natalia. This time we will convince him. Right.
father. Natalia, where, where are the guards? Uncle, there's no need for guards. Natalia is your daughter. My daughter died years ago. No, the Natalia here before you is your daughter. Seventeen years of memory should tell you that. Luke. <laughs> I learned that from you. Memories. So someone told you she's not your real daughter. So what? That doesn't change your memories. The memories you two share as a family belong to you alone. I know that. I know that. Well then? It's all right, Luke. Father. Your Majesty. You may call me a criminal if you wish. But please, stop this war with Malkuth. I won't ask why you sent emissaries to Exeriuth. I don't even want to know. But His Majesty Peony the Ninth trusted in me as an emissary of peace. I do not intend to lose that trust for your sake. Excuse me, Your Majesty. A monarch need not suffer these youthful tirades. May I suggest we come back at a later date to hear Your Majesty's feelings? Jade! What if they hide troops to ambush us? The people of this city would turn against His Majesty, just as before. And Phone Master Ion is here as well. We all know what Doth's response would be were the Phone Master to die. Are you threatening me, Jade the Necromancer? Did you think I would enter a situation like this without taking certain precautions? I've written a document detailing the crisis facing the world. I will read it and see you in my audience chamber tomorrow. Uncle, I trust you. Excuse us, Your Majesty.